in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen praise the lord and hearty welcome to you my dear sisters and brothers for the reflections on the liturgy of the word of god of the first sunday of the lent 26th february 2023 the first reading is taken from the book of genesis chapter 2 verses 7 to 9 chapter 3 verses 1 to 7 The second reading is taken from St Paul's letter to the Romans chapter 5 verses 12 to 19 and the gospel reading is from the gospel according to Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11 The season of Lent has begun the time of grace has set in The believers are called to make an option to choose God to listen to him and to follow him in his footsteps it is time to give more arms more time for prayer increase the occasions of fasting not only from food items but also from moments of unbecoming good christian life these activities are not kept specifically for this season alone We need to practice them throughout the year faithfully. The question of loyalty to God is the theme that connects the first reading and the gospel reading. That is where Adam and Eve failed the cause of humanity, Jesus won it in favor of human race. Jesus knew who to listen to while our first parents failed. The first reading from the book of Genesis states that God created the first human persons. Since God breathed his spirit into them, they became living souls. God placed them in his paradise in the garden of Eden with the freedom to exercise their will and to choose whatever they wanted. This will to choose had its borders its limitations set by god himself but the very first choice brought their downfall as they got confused who should the man listen to to god or to his wife who should the woman listen to to god or the serpent the serpent beguiled them and found a way to break open the god given and the divinely willed restriction the serpent opened the doors to the tree of knowledge of good and evil the woman for a moment forgot about what god said and chose to listen to the devil the man chose to listen to his wife thus both of them succumbed to their greed and became a prototype of all our wrong choices that we repent about and end up hurting god others and self the responsorial psalm flows from a deeply sorrowful heart of king david after his illegal affair with bathsheba the wife of uriah david pleads for god's tender mercies that all his iniquities may be blotted out and be cleansed of all his sins the affair with bathsheba opened the flood gates to numerous other sins that followed such as calumny abetment to murder and murder itself finally causing the death of many other innocent soldiers david's earnest prayer of repentance is a model for us as it bridges the dreadful reality of sin and the wonder of divine mercy we learn to appreciate david's earnest desire to possess a clean heart and live in the presence of god in the second reading taken from the letter of saint paul to the romans the author considers jesus christ as the second adam 
the first one brought sin and its consequent death it necessitated a twist in god's plan and thus brought down the second person of the holy trinity to take vulnerable human form faith in christ he is the antidote to sin adam committed the first sin of greed and disobedience by eating the fruit of the forbidden tree while jesus the son of god obeyed the will of god and hung on the tree namely the cross to guarantee eternal life where sin abounded there the grace of god to multiply the gospel reading my dear brothers and sisters says that the spirit of god led jesus to the desert to be tempted by the devil but before that jesus was baptized and the spirit of god who descended upon him and empowered him therefore jesus temptations did not lead him to sin but rather tested his loyalty desert is a place of testing and transformation 40 days and 40 nights in biblical language is a standard time set for the recreation of the world we remember noah's flood and the recreation of the world that followed secondly also for the recreation of israel overcoming the trials and tribulations and thus arrive at the promised land and for the renewal of the life of prophet elijah as we know him a person who persevered during many tough moments in his life the temptations faced by jesus are the same as every created human person would go through in his or her life in the dialogue with the satan jesus quotes the book of deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 chapter 6 verse 16 and chapter 6 verse 13 while the tempter cites the book of psalms psalm 91 verses 11 and 12 Matthew's purpose behind this temptation story is to present Jesus as the faithful and obedient son of God. Here unfolds an opportunity for all of us to walk the path of holiness. May the first Sunday of Lent and the liturgy of the word of God empower us to do the will of god in our life and to be his obedient sons and daughters in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen